roots in the film, the title, to the Arab nation. What does that mean? To wake them up. To wake them up. To wake the Arab nation because uh, what's going in the Middle East and in the Arab countries is um, hunger, humiliation, um, discrimination, and um, dictatorship, dictatorship, and uh, Thousands of people, maybe hundreds of thousands of people, are dying every day. Hungry, humiliated, more than four million Syrian refugees now, after three and a half years of war. And the Arab nation is sleeping. Do nothing to stop that war. Do nothing to stop that bloodshed. And uh, this film uh, is trying to tell these people to wake up and to stand against their leadership. First of all. What inspired this film? Where did the story come from? Well, my son um, uh, had been my son is an actor and he was visiting some uh, Arab country uh, three, four years ago. And he came back home shocked and told me that he saw families in that country saving their children just to save the other children from uh, uh, starving. So that was the inspiration of this film. And what has been the reaction in the Arab world? Has it shown in the Arab world? Well, actually, the Arab world didn't see the film until now. Uh, I didn't distribute the film in the Arab world. But the very few who saw the film didn't like it. Didn't like it, no. Even some friends of mine told me, why did, why did you do that film? It's not good. It's not... Uh, it's not fitting you, you know, it's not fitting Mohammed Bakri that we know who's fighting the uh, injustice, the Israeli occupation and uh, the injustice inside Palestine and Israel. Uh, they didn't like it. What didn't they like? What, what about it? What they like? What didn't they like about it? They didn't like that uh, uh, this film uh, had their dignity. That an Arab uh, father cannot do that, cannot sell his uh, child uh, for uh, for money. Or uh, they didn't like it. They didn't like to be in that uh, position. I didn't like to do it too. It was not easy for me to to act this uh, man, you know, the father. I am a father and I know what's the meaning of having children and I love my children. Like everybody loves his children, I believe. That's the reason you do children, because you love them. So if you don't love your children, and if you are in a position that you save your child, it must be very hard feeling. And I very, very hard feeling when I was doing that, when I was acting the role. So it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't done for fun, uh, much more than that. Usually cinema is fun, it was not fun. Thank you. I, I would love to open it to any questions from the audience, um, if you have any questions. And I'll, I'll continue with one more question. If, um, has uh, this film been shown in Israel? It was shown, no, it was not shown in Israel, no. Um, where has it shown? Where? Here. Here? <laughs> no, but it, was it in a film festival? This is the first time, actually, that I, I see the film with audience. No. Yes.
So uh, in the film also, it did show at the at a Venice Film Festival where it won an award. It won uh, the prize in, in Venice Festival, yes, for short films. Uh, this actually this is the second time that I see the film in audience. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're a much better audience than the Italians. Um, we have a question up here. Thank you so much for the film. But you said that it's addressed to the Arab nation, but the, uh, that transaction took place in front of a separation wall. So can you comment on that? Uh, I don't understand the question. The, it was shot in front of what looked like a separation wall. Um, it's not a separation wall, it's like to, it's, it's not really a separation wall, it's uh, my village, I live in the north of Israel, and this is a, a place uh, that the, there is water for the village, in this place, it's like, uh, like a reservoir, uh, a water tower, uh, but it's, uh, um, I understand why you thought that because of the fence and the, the light. Uh, I didn't mean that. When you refer to the Arab nation, are you talking about the collective of Arab nations, of the Arab people? What exactly are you referring to when you say the Arab nation? I mean, yes. The, Arab, the, the citizens of the Arab country. I mean uh, Egyptian, Syrian, Lebanese, Palestinian, Tamanian, uh, Tunisian, Libyan, all the Arab, I mean, all the Arab population. Because I believe that um, at least the Israelis only the Israelis can change the reality of Israel. If they stand up and fight the policy of being occupying and occupying another country and another people, only the Israelis can do that. Not the American, another Palestinians, another Arab world. I mean our destiny. I, I'm talking about the humanity here, the human beings. Our destiny is only in our hands. If we don't move and we, we don't do something against the injustice, it will continue like that for, for, for ages. That's what I mean by uh, um, the, uh, the word uh, to the Arab nation. Okay. I want them to work up, I want them to move, I want them to do something like what happened in the beginning of the Arab Spring, when a one single man in Tunisia, one single man, young man, burned himself. It's exploded the whole uh, Arab Revolution all over the world, all over, over, all over the Arab world. After that, something was ruined because the politics came in, but in the beginning, was just one man who did the change. In America, one man freed black people. One man. Everywhere you can find one man who has the dream and he has the change. But this man cannot act alone if he don't have his public with him, behind him. He cannot do that alone. So I mean that. I mean that People must move and must stand up and must say what the majority is not saying. The, the majority is the criminal. In this case, if you keep silent, silent you are a part, you are a criminal. That's what I'm trying to say in my very simple bad English. <laughs> can you talk about a little bit about blackness? Uh, can you talk a little bit about blackness, about why the name blackness, why the high contrast, and it looked like 16 millimeter to me. I'm not sure if it was film, but why the choice to go with that? I don't like the name blackness. 
I think it was a mistake to call it film practice. I thought to call it uh, darkness, not blackness. Darkness, atme, atme, atme in Arabic. Darkness, something when, 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 it's, when it's dark. Uh, it was shot by V5, uh, digital camera, not 60. Has a very filmy. Yes, look. because it's black and white. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't like blackness. I don't like black uh, blackness. I don't like. It. I will change it next time. <laughs> Uh, Muhammad, thank you very much. These uh, films are screening again here at the festival at uh, Cinema Village. I'll just... Tomorrow at 3 p.m., so you can tell your friends to check them out there. Um, three, I think, uh, very different and uh, very interesting films giving different perspectives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.